Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from controlpaint.com, and today we're going to talk about using the clone stamp tool. Now what you see here is a nearly finished painting. It's got all sorts of details in it, but sometimes what you want to do is make a change, but you don't want to have to kind of start fresh. Well, the clone stamp tool is really great for pushing areas of complete polish around the canvas. So let me show you what I mean. Here I can select the clone stamp tool, and I'm actually going to paint with it just like I'd paint with a normal brush. If I want to sort of change the shape here of the edge of uh, this roof, I want to grab some of these shadowed bricks as my source. And now I'm going to paint, instead of with a color, with actual sampled areas of the painting. And because I'm using small little strokes here, it can be kind of hard to tell exactly what I'm doing but I can use a larger stroke as well. So let's say I actually want an entire one of these windows. So I'm gonna use that as my source. And then over here, I'm gonna paint from the source. And so you can see what it's doing is it's just copying one area of the painting and then using that instead of a color on my paintbrush. But in every other way, it's just like paint. So for instance, I can change the brush tip and I'll have a much different result. So once again, I'm gonna pick a window as my source here. But now instead of that flat brush, I'm gonna use a, um, a very randomized brush. In fact, what I'll do first is I'll show you what that brush looks like with paint. Okay, so you see it's sort of a textural randomized brush. But if I were to use that as the tip of my clone stamp, Here's what it does. So you can see it's still painting that source area of my painting, but the edge is really broken up. So it has sort of a distressed look. Now, another thing to note is that I am using the clone stamp with the sample all layers option checked. So when you have your clone stamp tool selected here, if you look up at the top of the screen, it says sample all layers. There's other options for this, but my personal preference is you make a new fresh layer to do your clone stamping on, and then you have it sample from the entire rest of your painting. That just means it's going to treat everything it sees here as flat, no matter how many layers are actually in your document. And that just keeps things simple. And it's really great for taking details that you like in your painting and making more of them or covering up mistakes. So I'll show you both those scenarios. We'll start by taking a detail area we like. I'll say this little shadow here. So I'm going to use that as my source, and then I'm just going to paint that other places around the image. So I have to grab my source there, and I can change the brush to behave however I want it to, and then just kind of paint it in place. So I'm benefiting from all the time that it took to make that detail in the first place, then I'm just kind of shifting it around. But the whole thing feels very much like painting, and that's where I think it's so powerful. So I can erase then, you know, to, to kind of integrate it back together, because this is on its own layer, so I can hide everything I've done here and reveal it again. Now the other scenario I talked about was to cover up a mistake. So we'll say I actually don't like this little shadow here. I want to kind of flatten that wall out. Well, the way I could do that would be use the clone stamp, and then sample an area like the bare bricks here, and then just paint over top of it. And so you can see I covered it over not with a flat color, but actually with bricks. And so when you back away from that, you can barely tell anything was there in the first place. So you might say, well, if I wanted to do that, why not just use the healing brush tool? And I'll show you what the healing brush tool does. It's just sort of automatic. It thinks for a minute and then it just gets rid of whatever you've selected by kind of sampling from around it. That's fine. It's very powerful if that's what you want to do. What I like about the clone stamp tool is that you have more options. It paints like the paintbrush. And I think that's what we're used to using. So you can use it to, again, duplicate areas of the image or to cover up things. But the whole time it feels like a tool you're already familiar with. So if you've never tried it before, I'd encourage you to get out a painting that is already finished and then get out the clone stamp tool and try moving details around. 
because unlike a lot of painting, this really allows you to take the already finished image and to make radical changes without much work. Enjoy clone stamping, and thanks for coming to the site, guys.